Well, the saga about uh, our borders control continues. The Home Affairs Select Committee have now heard from the Home Secretary, from the head of UKBA and from Bro Brody Clark, the top official who was suspended. Now, what's interesting is that none of them have a consistent account. The Home Secretary claims that she authorised only a limited pilot to manage a new at-risk procedure and that she gave clear written instructions for that pilot. Mr Whiteman, of course, who wasn't there during uh, the bulk uh, of these decisions, he claims that Mr Brodie Clark admitted he had acted outside Minister's instructions and Mr Clark says that he never did anything that wasn't authorised by Ministers. What we do know is that for a period during the summer there was a massive relaxation of our borders control. During that period literally millions of people came in without any checks. The Home Office claims that they did, through the pilot, increase the number of detections of illegal immigrants and some contraband, but they also have to admit that millions more could have come through our borders. The simple argument here is two things. One, if there is going to be an attempt to change the way we manage our borders, everyone must be part of that project. It can't be done in secret. And two, when things go wrong, whoever's responsible must own up. We can't have ministers hiding behind officials. We can't have documents that are denied to select committees or to members of parliament. This leads to further suspicion that there's a nasty smell, there's a cover-up going on here. What we need to know is who did what, what happened, and how exposed were our borders this summer.